Good morning and welcome to AGB Art. In today's instructional video, I'll show you how to measure paint and flow trawl for your acrylic pouring. If you enjoy the video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The first paint that I'm going to mix up is wall paint, and I use this as my base paint. I take the large can and give it a good mix, and then I'm going to just pour some paint directly into a large red Solo cup. I do that because it's much easier to measure paints from the red cup than to try to pour the exact amount right out of this huge can. Next, I get my bottle of Floetrol, give it a good shake, and I usually take a piece of pantyhose and put it over the top. That helps to strain any clumps. Here is the recipe again. I like using this squeeze bottle because I can control how many drops of water go into the cup. Now I want to talk about parts. You can choose what your part is. And I'm demonstrating these cardboard cups. You could use them and do one cup, one of these cups of paint, and two of the cups of Floetrol. And then just mix all three together in a container. But that's a lot of paint to make up. If you want to make up a smaller amount of paint, you could use a tablespoon. You would do one of these tablespoons of paint and then two of them of Floetrol and mix that in your cup. Or you could take this quarter cup, I'm going to call it a scoop, and you would do one scoop of paint, two scoops of Floetrol. Mix that in the cup. It's that easy. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to mix the wall paint and I'm using this scoop. You remember I put the straight wall paint in the red Solo cup. That's so it's easy to pour. I'll be pouring the paint into the orange scoop, just one, and into the cup. And now I know that I want to do two of the scoops in Floetrol. Unfortunately, it's not flowing well out of the pantyhose, so I'm gonna take the pantyhose off. But remember, it was one scoop paint, two scoops Floetrol. I find this method so much easier than using the scale, but I will demonstrate how to use the scale in a moment. I don't add the water right now. I'll show you in a little bit how to add the water to the paint. Just like I added the wall paint to the Solo cup, I'm now just going to add straight Floetrol to a smaller cup. This makes it much easier to measure. Now I'm going to put the cup on the scale and clear it out to zero, and I'll show you how to mix tube paint. I'm putting 10 milliliters of paint into the cup and I can either clear out the scale and add 20 or, and this I think is much easier, I'm just going to add the 20 and stop when the scale says 30. You'll see, once I have mixed the Floetrol in with the tube paint, the paint is extremely thick. And I call it very thick because the majority of my paintings are Dutch pours. And in a Dutch pour, you need the paint much thinner than this. Here are the two paints that I mixed up. This is the wall paint and the green is the tube paint. I'm demonstrating for you how to do a card test, 
which tests for consistency. You put two drops or drops in a row on a card or a plate, and then you tilt the plate. And those drips should run at the same rate. As you noticed, the green was much slower. So I used that dropper bottle and put some water in the green because my goal is for both of the drips to run at the same time. It's really important to have consistency. Yep, the green is still too thick. And you're probably wondering why I don't just add a bunch of water to it. Well, the problem with that is you can't take the water out again. So you just do a little bit of water at a time and you keep repeating this test. It's getting closer, but it's not good enough in my book. So a couple of more drops and I'm reusing the other side of the plate. Still looks thick. Now you're probably thinking, this is an awful lot of work just to mix your paints. And I'll tell you, once you get a lot of experience mixing paints, it doesn't take this long at all you'll have a really good feel. Now there they are. They're very close right there. Remember, keep it simple. Don't make this difficult and have fun painting. I hope you enjoyed my video. You'll press the thumbs up and subscribe.